So I think the opportunities for immunotherapy to improve outcomes for patients with head and neck cancer are outstanding. Um, we know um, in relapsed metastatic disease, for a relatively small proportion of patients, that we're able to deliver really very substantial benefits, both in terms of responses and duration of response, including for some patients, potentially um, what might begin to look like cure of their relapsed metastatic disease. And I think for me, that gives me the impetus to continue to try to develop immunotherapy, not just for those patients in whom it, benefit, it delivers benefit already, but also for the majority of patients who do not benefit, because we have an opportunity now to understand what is it about those tumours that means that they're resistant either primarily or as an acquired resistance to immunotherapy, and how can we modulate that in order to improve their chance of responding? And fundamentally also, I think what we have an opportunity to do is coming back to the issue of radical treatment of cancer. We have the opportunity to learn in the relapsed metastatic space and bring some of those lessons forwards into the time that we treat patients at the first instance when they first present with their disease and try to cure them so that they never de develop relapsed metastatic disease. So I think the opportunities there are really very impressive. What we haven't yet worked out is how to do it. What are the best schedules of treatment? And indeed, what additional drugs are we going to need to add in order to deliver maximum benefits for our patients? But overall, I think in the next five to 10 years, we will see um, immunotherapy having a very strong foothold, both in the primary treatment and in the treatment of relapsed metastatic head and neck cancer.